also new at six, bringing thousands of jobs to Georgia. The state is in the process of purchasing a massive site in Bryan County. Our Brooke Butler joins us now live from the newsroom with more on this. And Brooke, state leaders feel this property could attract a major manufacturer. That's right, Shannon. Just take a look at the size of this property. It is massive. The Bryan County mega site is almost 2300 acres, and the purchase of this site is actually the largest strategic investment in state history. It's going to be for one massive manufacturer. That's the whole goal. It may not look like much now, but state leaders say this site in Bryan County holds a major economic opportunity, not only because of its size, but also because of its location. You can't get any better than where we are right now. We're adjacent to I-16, less than 15 miles from I-95, and then less than 30 miles from the Port of Savannah and Savannah Hilton Head International Airports. This uh, proximity for this site to the port and rail, as Anna mentioned, are incredible. It's also close to a great workforce. For about six years, there were efforts to sell this land to a major manufacturer. We've had several big uh, automotive OEMs look out here. Uh, one of the biggest stumbling blocks for us is that we didn't own the property. Uh, you know, you're dealing with you know, a lot of different families, and now we're changing that, and this property will be ready to be developed instantaneously. You see, the state is using money from their sale of the Chatham County Economic Development site to Amazon to purchase this mega site and get it ready for a manufacturer. A lot of the deals that we're doing now, these companies are saying we need to be operational first quarter of 23, second quarter of 23. We can do that with this site. And Governor Kemp says this is only the beginning. We're not one and done here. We're continuing to look to have sites just like this in other parts of the state. We have some together now, others that we're working on putting together. So, Brooke, when is the state looking to finalize its purchase? Shannon, the sale of this property is expected to close on or before July 31st of this year. Back to you. All right, Brooke, thanks so much.